Hi, it's Lana today. Uh, it's Lana every day. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is weird for me because I'm trying to be real. Um, and I've been doing like my, my hi, it's Lana summer. I don't even say that. I usually say, hi, it's Lana here. And today we're going to do this. I mean, I guess I could still do that. That's not exactly like, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's do that. Hi, it's Lana here. And today we're going to be real. Mm, yes, that works for me. So today I'm going to get ready. I want you to see my armpit. So today I'm getting ready to go to a misguided launch event. It's for their new fragrances, which I thought they launched ages ago to be fair because I have one <laughs> and I've had it since like January. So I thought it launched a while ago. Actually I've had it since December and now it's May. So I need to get ready. I need to get, whew, I need to get ready really quickly. I've got half an hour. So yes, this video, I wanted it to be a very real, like kind of insight into my life and what I get up to. And to be honest, I don't think that this is gonna be like a regular week for me. Like my week is not usually like this. Like this is gonna be exciting. I've got a lot going on. And you know what, to be honest, I think it's because, this is the pore professional by the way, I had to use it on my nose because I've got these big old pores on my nose. If you're watching this vlog, then you probably know that I reached 100,000 subscribers on my channel a little while ago, it was a few weeks ago, and actually my channel's growing too quickly now because I need to announce my giveaway, and now my giveaway's <laughs> late because, um, well, because of a whole bunch of things, but it's coming, it's gonna come, it might have already been announced, I need to do my giveaway post. Oh, and the foundation that I'm using is the, I'm using the Flawless Matte Foundations from B, Simply B, B, which is the Superdrug brand. So I need to announce my giveaway. But anyway, since reaching 100,000 subscribers, I've been getting like a whole bunch more emails from brands. Like I think this is the first time that I've gone to a misguided event, to be honest. And I used to be really sad. Like I used to look at everybody at the events and I used to be like, it looks so fun. I wanna go. And what do you know? Now I'm going. Like they only emailed me like really, really last minute. They emailed me yesterday and the events today. So I don't know what happened. I don't know why they're only just inviting me, but they, they are. So that's happening. So I have to get ready. And I was gonna film a video, but I don't have time now. I'll film it tomorrow. I have to film like three videos tomorrow, maybe even four. And I have to edit one as well. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna have time to do this. Do you know, I've been so sleepy lately because like just like filming and editing and like trying to reply to all these emails and comments and planning and just like trying to come up with ideas like trying to come up with ideas is actually like it takes a bit of time like I actually have to like brainstorm it's like you know when you do a school project I actually have to brainstorm and I have like um like a mind map and stuff and I've just got like I've just got it written down everywhere right by the way I'm definitely mixing my foundations because I've just got a whole bunch of them that are kind of running out and I need to buy a new one like if you didn't know this about me I'm bougie <laughs> We definitely did not grow up with money and my mom always taught me to, I don't know, just make, not waste money, not waste products, not waste anything basically. I don't know what the word is. Be frugal? It's like, like my mom taught me to be frugal. And basically that's turned me into a bougie ass because I, I need to buy a new foundation and I'm just like using all the old ones. I want to make more vlogs because I've been saying to you guys for a long time that I wanted to do vlogs or just make my channel more personal. Because for a long time, like for the whole of this year pretty much, I've been making a lot of hair videos and people keep saying to me, do you only do hair videos? And I'm like, well, I never used to. I used to do all kinds of videos. And I used to do skits and I used to do like advice videos and life advice videos. And for some reason this year, I just started doing hair videos. I don't want that to be me, you know, like there's definitely more to me than hair videos. And I watched my first ever video, which was a hair video to be fair. Actually, it was my second ever video. It was what, it was a, how I grew my hair back from heat damage. And in that video, like I was speaking so fast, I'm all out of this stuff. I'm so sad about it. I was really cute in that video. <laughs> Uh, I was watching it and I was like, oh, what a cutie pie. But that was just me like a few years ago. And I was like, I think I was like really scared because it was one of my first ones. And I had like this soft little like angel voice. And I know I am like that sometimes. Like I do have like a really soft side, but I feel like that's not necessarily me anymore. Like you can definitely see it in my new videos. But like on the flip side of that, you know, I don't want to have like that loop pull. Is it even loop? Is it? Is, there's not a loop pull. Is it? Logan? 
is there a Luke wall? I don't know. So I don't want to be like that kind of like, wow, this, that wall, because that's just not really me. I'm like quite a chilled person really, but I do get excited about things. So like, for example, I know a few of you guys are armies like me. What is the time? I'm <laughs> what? Wait, literally, I just said that. I just started talking about BTS and what do you know? <sighs> There's, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a teaser. It's a teaser. It's another teaser. Let's look at it. Let's look at this teaser. The first one, I was shook. The first one, I was like scared at the end. <clears throat> There's more of them. It's so fast. <sighs> Jimin in leopard print. Okay. That was too much and it was so bloody fast. Right, I'm gonna watch that again. We had Jimin in Leopard Print, we had Jungkook in like a jacket that reminds me, it's like bright colors, so it reminds me of the DNA music video. I have to talk really fast because the video is really fast. Like seriously, look at Tay's mullet. Props to the stylist, they actually made it look really weird. Oh, and this is, this is like the longest that Sugar's hair has ever been, I think. Like his hair is a lot like Jimin's hair in the last comeback. I would stay and like read the comments on that video and stuff, but I, I really need to get ready. Like I was just saying, like I do get excited about things. Like the last time I feel like I got really, really excited was when BTS announced the world tour. And I was like, <laughs> I was like running around. I was like texting everybody. I was like, oh my God, because I really want to go to that. Really, really, really well. I mean, like, I do have crazy reactions to some things, but not everything. So I don't want to be like, oh, what am I doing? I don't have a proper mirror here and I'm ruining my makeup. All right, let's fix this. Like, cause some people literally get to thinking that like anybody who's super happy or super excited must be faking it. And that's not true. Like you can be excited about things. You can like, you can be really happy. Like happy does not equal fake. There's like a fine line. This vlog, I'm just gonna be as real as possible with you guys. I'm going to try my hardest to show you everything. I'm gonna try my hardest to get you into all the situations that I get into. I'm gonna try my hardest to show you my realist reactions and emotions. But what I want you guys to remember is that if I'm if I'm masking my own emotions, like if I am sad but I don't want to feel sad, then I'm going to act happy. And if I'm sad and I don't want people to know I'm sad, then I'm going to act happy. It doesn't necessarily mean it's fake because like for all I know, that might actually be how I think I feel at the time. And it might not be until afterwards I realise that actually that was not the truth. Like, do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you think you're happy and you're not. Or sometimes you think you're unbothered and you're bothered. So like, we'll see. I just don't want you guys to think it's fake. That's just what it is though. Like fake is fake and real is real, but there is like, there are things that fall in between. That's, I hope like you get what I'm saying. So now that I've fully messed up my foundation because Big Hit released another trailer. I'm waiting for this song to come out. I'm waiting for the whole, wait, what day is it? It's the 16th. So the album comes out on Friday. I'm going to bake. So let's bake. Bakey doo doo, bake day. My oh my, what a bakering day. Does anyone else feel like when you set your under eyes, it feels really tight? Mine does. The other thing that I really want to stop doing is like, I, I have like this kind of loud persona that I put on. It's not like a persona, it's just, honestly, I just feel like sometimes you can't hear me. So I, t I, like, I end up shouting because I feel like the mic won't be able to pick me up otherwise. And then every time I'm editing, I'm like, why am I yelling? Like, I just need to remember, like, yeah, the mic can hear me. You guys can hear me. I don't need to shout, you know? Bye, train. Bye, people. Yo. I missed the second train as well. <laughs> because, um... Because I don't know how to read a train timetable. I didn't. I didn't look at the train table. Time table. It should make sense. They're supposed to be every half hour. So the first one, the one I was supposed to catch, was at 5:29, and it's supposed to be every half hour. So I thought the next one would be at 5:59, and it wasn't. It was at 5:51, so I missed it. But luckily, there's another one at 6:07, so I didn't miss it by that much. This is just. This is just life. Here's a fact I can tell you. I get changed when I'm at the event. So like. If you ever see me out and about and I say, oh yeah, I'm going to this place and you don't believe me because I'm wearing the complete wrong clothes, then it's because I get changed. Because I don't like, like obviously I'm not about to like walk around the whole of London wearing like sky high heels and a mini dress. 
honestly because I don't feel safe wearing that. So I've got jeans on and I've got trainers on so that I can run away from creeps. Look at this teddy bear throw. Look at him. Look at me. Oh, he's got no legs. He's got no arm. Who did that to him? I'm just gonna chill in my throw. Built on the pelts of my enemies. Aww. Look. We're ready for the wedding. <laughs> How was the event? It was bad. Don't <laughs> fall. I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> I'm steady. I don't have to go down steps. <laughs> so we're going down into Oxford Street Station. It's busy. It's like... So busy. It's like quarter past nine and it's still busy. But look, I got changed, obviously. I told you guys earlier, I always get changed because I'm not walking about, I'm not gonna walk around the whole of London wearing them heels that I was wearing and a little dress I was wearing, no way. It's literally Wednesday, what are you doing? Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Some of that midweek madness. Central line sauce. Hi, I'm home <laughs> and I'm really tired. Oh, I'm gonna take my makeup and everything. Don't worry about that. I'm actually going to put that into a skincare video, so you can't see it yet. Because we got to get it. It actually stayed pretty well. Oh, but look, I made the mistake. As soon as I turned up to the place, like as soon as I turned up to um, the Palladium, I straight away put pressed powder on my face. Like, I don't think I even needed it. It's just because I was going to put my bag in the cloakroom. And I was thinking, you know, I might need pressed powder at some point tonight to like, you know, get rid of any shine and like oiliness. So I just did it right away. Like, I didn't even look. And like I put it here and the pressed powder causes so much flashback so I didn't even realize because the makeup that I did first of all it doesn't cause flashback but the pressed powder does and I put it on in such a rush that I didn't even think about it so like loads of my photos I think I've got like really bad flashback so I've got that to look forward to but anyway we'll find out like as soon as the photos come out we'll find out but that was really fun and I'm glad I could bring you guys with me I really hope you enjoyed watching that part but I've got to sleep I've got to get ready for tomorrow and the rest of the week so I'll see you guys Bye. This is the earliest that I've been up in ages. I had to get up like half past six today because I'm coming into London. Well, I'm in London. I had to come into London to do a brand jam thing at YouTube. So I'm going to meet with a whole bunch of brands. Yeah, exciting times, but I'm just so tired. Hi guys, I'm at YouTube. I made it. Did I even tell you? I don't know. I made it. It was really early. I had to wake up really early. Blah, blah, blah. Oh wow. This is not even the top. So look at all the little people eat. Should we do some people watching? Let's see what Susan and Karen are eating. Susan and Karen are having a nice little picnic. They look very comfortable. Simon is, you know, just chilling, reading. Has he got the newspaper there? I don't know. Tom, Dick and Harry, they're all just on their phones. <laughs> so there they are, Tom, Dick, Harry. What's this guy doing? He doesn't need to sit down to look at his phone. He's just going to look at his phone in the middle of the street. What would you do if, like, this, you suddenly felt this crack and oh. you just suddenly started falling? I had a nightmare that I lived in a huge building like this and it was all tilted towards the window and I always used to just, like, slip towards the window. That would be a horrible nightmare. That's what my nightmare was. I think I get vertigo. Did he look right at us? They're all just having a little meal. Hello. We're here with Simba Bears. 
Because <laughs> this is quality content. It's soft but firm. So that's the key message that I've learned today is that this bed is soft but it's firm. Hello. That's on me. Yeah, it's on you. It's so lovely to meet you. My name is Scott <laughs> what version of scholar is this? Oh, uh, this is um, fabulous scholar. <laughs> fabulous scholar. Um, really fabulous. my name is <laughs> Scholar Dondo. Oh, it's actually quite nice it. too. Oh, we're supposed to be at work right now, but we're getting a little massage. I really love it. These two weirdos have decided to take a nap in the middle of the day. I've just been watching them from afar, like, I don't know. <laughs> See, I'm worried. If I if I lie down, I don't think I'll get back up. Seriously, I'm trying to pick. How many YouTube videos do I need to do? What have you got in your bag, Scala? I got pastels in that bag. Some wet. Socks on the socks. Brilliant. <laughs> this was just a gift from Topshop. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Hi guys, so I am at the studio. I actually met up with Shannon on the train, which was really strange. I like ran onto the train, I was like, there's Shannon. And so we made it to the studio and we're gonna film some stuff for like an exciting little new project. So I thought I would just show you guys because <laughs> okay. So this is the studio. Damn, it's never in focus. This is the studio, one's in there. Hello. Oh, Hello, lovely lady. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can, but like, yeah. I don't want to get in everyone's way and stuff, you know. So, yeah. Oh, she lovely. <laughs> Because if I need to wash my hair, it looks best on the second day after I wash it, it's 
so hot. Just came so That's a wrap. We're done. How do you feel? Feel amazing because there's yeah. so much air around and I can yeah. breathe. So it's <sighs> wet in. It was hot. It was hot, hot, hot. We needed outdoor shoots. Yes. Oh, outdoor shoots are so fun. Yeah. yeah. On sunny days like this, I'm gonna do one on Saturday, I think. Woo but yeah, we're all done. Yay. And this. And this. this is nice. Oh yeah. This is how we travel on the tube. We don't play around. This is luxury. Did you enjoy your trip to Lanzarote? <laughs> I will. This is a great advert for it. Hello friends. I don't know, like I don't know why my husband doing this all day. Like I went out to the shops and it was like it was a big old mess. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. And today's a new day, by the way. How did I forget to say that? Let me start again. Hi guys, today's a new day. Yesterday after the shoot I just went to Tower Hill. I just sat in the park for a little bit I should really have like shown you guys. I did show you guys on Instagram So make sure you're following me on Instagram because like I forget to vlog sometimes like hard is uh, Sometimes it's like hard to vlog and do Instagram stories at the same time because that's just like a lot of cameras to hold and stuff But anyway, that's what I did and I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun this whole week But I'm just like I'm not used to being out this much because if you guys remember like the start of this vlog I wanted this whole vlog to be like real and like just not trying to like make my life look like it's something that it's not you know and not trying to be something that I'm not so I'm really just I'm trying to be like as authentic as I can without like I feel like some people try to be authentic and then they lose it in the whole like trying so hard to be authentic that they end up doing something else like I don't know they make themselves cry to be like look I'm crying on camera I'm so true when like I really I actually just don't cry very often you know so like it, that's not that's not like an authentic thing for me like I literally I just don't cry very often like maybe a couple times a year I actually cry like it doesn't happen that much and like if it's a sad film you know but that's just everybody so I guess maybe let's talk about my YouTube channel because I was going to take a nap to be honest like I'm so tired with all this stuff I've been doing but I just thought let me just jump on show you guys that it's a new day show you guys what I'm up to right now and today I've been to do grocery shopping and and I'm just like taking a look at my channel you know I'm trying to see like what kind of video I should make what kind of video you guys would want to see so let me hold the camera up let me show you what I see so when I look at my videos this is what I see and like, the reason I made this rice food, like this is the last video I posted, right? And th the reason I made this, so I posted it a day ago. The reason I posted that is because one week ago I posted this video and it got 193,000 views in one week, which is really good for me. So I wanna say thank you guys so much. Like my videos never get that many views, especially not in one week. But like, because so many of you guys watched that, there were a lot of questions on it like this video was really about like showing you how to make rice water and I had just had I just had a lot of comments basically just asking how to use it like once you've got it how do you actually use it so that's why I decided to make this video as well just answering the questions in that video but then you know I thought that I was kind of helping people like I thought that people wanted to see this because I had so many questions on the other video but then I actually just had some comments on this video that hurt my feelings a little bit see like one of my followers says how many times are you gonna make the same video I'm not gonna bother watching this one like fair enough if it's if it's not a video you want to see then that's completely fair enough but like I, I feel like that's my dog like fair enough if that's not a video that you guys want to see but like if any why is she barking trying to have a serious talk with my subscribers here that you want to see personally but like like one thing I've really had to learn and that I had to remind myself of when I posted this video is that you literally you can't please everybody you can't please every person no how does it go she every time I, I go to open my mouth she starts barking there's somebody down there with her I don't know why she's barking there's something that I have had to like repeatedly remind myself throughout the whole of like my YouTube process is that you can't 
make all of the people happy all of the time and so like I'm sorry Jennifer like this video didn't make you happy but I feel like it made a lot of people happy and literally this is just me responding to all of the questions that I had on the previous video so I'm just gonna edit some videos I'm gonna get them posted for you thank you guys for all the love on my dance video by the way that was the last thing that I posted on Instagram and I'm really happy because you guys were really nice about it I was thought some people I really thought people were gonna be like you suck and stuff like that and nobody said that so thank you <laughs> um thumbs up this video if you like it and let me know if you want to see more vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next video bye